The use of fish scales is a relative new art form. However, fish skin has been used for a very long time. Tanning the hide to make fish leather to make water buckets, bags, dog packs, and many more day-to-day -day items. Fish have been part of indigenous life for many nations. Personally, where I grew up in northern British Columbia, I ate a lot of pike, trout, and walleye, leaving glittering scales on my hands as we fished. In the 70s, Diné and woodland communities started cleaning these scales of enamel and dentine until they were pearlescent and white. Whitefish are preferred as the scales have a wide variety of size, but other fish can be used such as pike for their tiny scales. After washing, they are colored in simmering water with natural plant pigments, crepe paper, or fabric dye. The heat controls the amount of curls the scales have, and by having a wide range, you sculpt the flowers you create, layers that tighten as they reach the center. These scales are carefully glued in sequence to make beautiful florals spiraling together. Sometimes fish bones and porcupine quills are added to create stems and centers. The market for frame fish scale art entered the world. Now these natural biodegradable scales decorate earrings and jewelry. Indigenous artists today are developing and creating while honoring the land and animals, the life they give in exchange for our human gratitude.